Okay, let's go ahead and start by building a drag and drop interaction using Storyline's triggers. Now for this drag and drop interaction, we want the refrigerator to open when the ice cream is dragged over it, and then we want the refrigerator to close when the ice cream is dragged away. So if you're following along, open your practice file and go to slide 1.3, practice. So you can see on the slide that we have two images, right? We have this ice cream image and we have the refrigerator image. If you select the refrigerator, you can see down here in the states panel that the refrigerator actually has two different states, each one with a different image. There's an open and a normal state, right? So the open state shows the refrigerator open and the normal is closed. We want to add a trigger to change the state of the refrigerator to what? To the open state, right? When the ice cream is dragged over it. So let's go ahead and create that trigger right now. So go to your triggers panel. And what do we want to do and when do we want to do it? We want to change the state of the refrigerator, right, the fridge, to state open. That's a custom state you can see right there. Not when user clicks, right, but when object dragged over. And what object? We want the ice cream object, right? When that ice cream object is dragged over the fridge, change the fridge to state open. Go ahead and click OK. And let's check out our file by previewing it. Okay, so now when I hover over the ice cream image, see how the cursor changes? It automatically became a draggable object just by putting that uh, trigger on it. But you see what happens when I drag over the refrigerator, right? The refrigerator stays open, which is what we wanted to happen. But when we release the object, we want that uh, refrigerator door to close. So let's go ahead and add that second trigger. So go ahead and close the preview. Now essentially what we want to have happen, right, is when this ice cream is anywhere over this refrigerator graphic, we want to be able to see that refrigerator open. But the moment the ice cream is dragged anywhere on the outside of the refrigerator, we want to uh, reset that refrigerator to close. And we can do that by using a catch-all graphic, in this case a hotspot. So we'll insert a hotspot, so insert, hotspot, rectangle, and we'll just drag it over the entire slide. All right, so when we first insert the rectangle, it's obviously the topmost object, which means nothing's going to be able to be selected. Now, if you see over here in the triggers panel, by default, a hotspot object comes with a trigger. Usually, a lot of times, we're showing layers with those, but we're not going to use anything like that in this example. So I'm just going to delete that trigger. And right now, the hotspot's covering everything, right? If you look in the timeline, you can see that it's the topmost object. Well, we want to be able to select some things, like the ice cream, so we need to move this this hotspot down. So I'm going to move it all the way to the bottom of the timeline stacking order so it's just above the bottom bar rectangle. So the hotspot's behind most of the on-slide objects. And let's go ahead and rename the hotspot just so we know what it is. I'll call it closed target. Now we need a second trigger, a trigger to say when the ice cream, right, is not on the refrigerator or we could say when the ice cream is over this hotspot. So anytime it's over the hotspot, go ahead and shut the refrigerator door. So we add a new trigger, and we're still working with states, right? So we want to change the state of, in this case again, the fridge, but not to open, but back to our normal state when, again, object dragged over, and that's going to be the ice cream again. But anytime the object is dragged over what? That hotspot, that closed target, I want to change that refrigerator back to normal. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And let's preview our slide once again. So the hotspot doesn't show up, right? The hotspot's an invisible, invisible shape, invisible button. But it is here. All right, if you see if I drag this ice cream over the refrigerator, it's open. And when I drag the ref uh, ice cream out and away, it's actually now a registering over that hotspot. And that's exactly what we wanted to happen. In the next tutorial, we'll finish the example by closing the fridge door and making the ice cream disappear when the ice cream is dropped on the fridge.